If you've got a very limited space, you can grow a wide range of vegetables, but not much of anything. So the answer is to make everything a celebration and tie it into some kind of event. That way, every time you harvest something, it becomes a special occasion. But to do that, of course, you do have to plan ahead and make sure that the right crops are growing at the right time. And that particularly applies to brassicas. We're coming into the brassica season in a big way. Nebraska's, of course, include all cabbages, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. And I'm just about to harvest my first cabbage. This is a Savoy cabbage that has been quietly growing here. It was planted out in May, and the first one is good and ready. So, if I get in there, there we go. Look at that. Now, although it's just the central round head, this bit here, which is really firm, really packed with leaf that is going to go into the pot, there is something really grand and almost heroic about a good cabbage. So that can go in there. And that, to me, is a sign of winter. I think of Savoy cabbages, which are really tough as winter's harvest. On this side, we've got purple sprouting broccoli, which is one of my favorite brassicas of all. But these, although they're growing well, won't be ready to harvest till February at the earliest and probably more like March. So they are a spring harvest, not a winter one. But on this side, we've got some kale. This is Cavolo Nero, black Tuscan kale. One of my favorite brassicas. And if you were only to grow one, this is the type of cabbage I would grow. And when you harvest kale, particularly Cavallo Nero, you don't cut it like you do a cabbage. You simply pull off the leaves as you need them. And I like to just take some leaves from each plant. And if you start lower down, it'll get taller and taller and grow a top knot of new leaves. It'll keep growing new leaves well into spring. And the beauty of Cavallo Nero is not just the taste, which is rich and delicious, I think, but also it is the one type of brassica that you can't spoil by overcooking. In fact, it gets better.